I remember I was so nervous and scared. It's a male-dominated industry. I'm gonna be taking out fishermen all the time and they're gonna question everything I do because I'm a girl. I kind of looked up to different women in the industry and I had some people be like, well, they're guides, so like that's different. Like they have a guiding career. And I was like, well, I, I could be a guide. I realized quickly, as soon as I was on the river with people, I, you kind of forget that you're a girl, and I think that the person does as well, and it's not important anymore, you're just their guide, and the more I did it, the more comfortable I became with it. Maddie definitely has blossomed as she has guided more people in fly fishing. She's really kind of turned into this outgoing, confident, wonderfully calm spirit that people love to be around on the river. There's something about telling the experience that happened, you know, you're eating a fish and you talk about the beautiful morning, you went out and what you caught it on and the fight and whatnot, and cleaning the fish and bringing it home. I think that that just is way better than picking something up from the supermarket and having no idea where it came from. Not in there. You're not going in there. See how they keep going under the bank? I catch or lose 99.9% .9 of the time. Um, but sometimes I do think it's kind of cool if it's sort of here in the right place to keep a fish and cook it. The times I keep fish, I love to be able to share with other people. I don't like to keep a fish and eat it myself. Fly fishing is definitely my first passion, but cooking is a close second. I love to cook, I love different types of foods, I love to travel, and the more I've been able to travel, I've been able to explore different cultures and food and come home and incorporate those different elements into my own cooking. I think a big part of who I am is bringing people together. So whether that be on a river fly fishing or be at my home, I love to have people over and cook dinner for them. That's definitely something that I really enjoy and look forward to. I have a lot of great friends here at the ranch. We all love to share stories. At the end of the day, it's so great to get together and share these over an amazing meal and a cold drink and a warm campfire.